Hey everybody and welcome to the Bullshit Party! And in this one we have the last vehicle from the Los Santos Tuners DLC, the Corin Previon. And in this one we're gonna be taking a look at its exterior, its interior, the way it customizes in Los Santos Customs, and how it performs both before and after customizing it. And ultimately I'm gonna be telling you if it's worth it. And with that let's start with the 360 around the vehicle while I give you some facts about it. First off, I believe this vehicle's real world inspiration is the second generation Toyota Sorer, but I'm not 100% on that. Secondly, this vehicle is a coupe, meaning that like the Sorer, it has only two doors and it can sit only two people in GT Online. As for its interactivity, I'm happy to say that you can open the hood, both doors and the trunk and look at the level of detail in the engine bay. More on that later when we get to Los Santos Customs, but all in all, I'm really And that's the exterior taken care of, uh, but uh, hmm, what does the interior look like? Well, there's only one way to find out. Let's get in. And uh, at first glance, the interior doesn't look like anything special, but uh, wait, the center console is slanted like an old BMWs, which is a really cool attention to detail. Okay, so the car is pretty much authentic and it sounds great, but uh, what type of drivetrain does it have? And it's time for our very scientific test to determine that in fact it has a rear wheel drive uh, train. And with that we're off to Los Santos Customs where we're gonna be customizing this and upgrading its performance. And on our way there I'm gonna be sharing with you my thoughts of the stock version of this car. Now, first of all it should be said that the Privion is a part of the coupe car class category in GTO Online. And as a member of that class, it's a pretty capable machine. It handles great, if the acceleration is decent, the top speed is definitely decent and for once, the brakes on this stock vehicle are great. All in all, I'm really happy with the way this vehicle is behaving and keep in mind that I'm talking about the stock version of it. I'm sure things are only gonna get better when we exit Los Santos Customs with the fully upgraded Previon. But for now, let's just enjoy the ride to Los Santos Customs and you can see the brakes of the vehicle and how good they are. I mean, it was just a blast to drive around with this thing. And I even managed to complete the stunt jump. How cool is that? And with that, we're almost at Los Santos Customs, so there's only one thing left to do. Get in and start customizing. Any... any second now. What can the best mechanic in LS do for you? And here we are in Los Santos Customs and as I said the Privion is a part of the Coupe's car category in GTA Online. And the first thing as always we're gonna do is upgrade all the performance options up front. This way nothing gets forgotten and you guys are probably not gonna yell at me at the end. Wait did I forget something? Oh well probably not. Oh wait yeah I forgot to upgrade the brakes. Which proves once and for all you can't train an idiot. What? Anyhow moving past that self burn here are all the front bumper customization options that you can choose from for the previon and as far as the rear it's a little bit thin in terms of customization but you can still choose several different options and even though engine upgrading and engine customizing isn't my thing i gotta say this is the crown jewel of customizing when it comes to the previon there are a lot of different customizations that you can do that look really really cool and even though I'm not a big fan of shelling out $60,000 for just upgrading how your engine looks, I gotta say, it's a pretty nice touch. And uh, you'll see why I'm a big fan of this in a little bit, but I promise you everything is gonna make sense. But uh, yeah, I believe this vehicle has the most customization in terms of its engine from the plethora of vehicles we've seen from the DLC. And let's be honest, price aside, they all look awesome. As for the exhaust, uh, well, you have several exhaust options, some of them are really stupid, but most of them are gonna do the job. And it has to be said that uh, even though they look cool, they have no impact on the performance whatsoever. And here are all the fender options, both front and rear fenders, because this is a more customizable vehicle, you can customize each. And you can also customize the inner cooler of the vehicle, which is really cool. <laughs> See what I did there? See, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm gonna shut up now. Okay, timeout's over. And here you have all the hood latches that are available on all other vehicles, but this is the most interesting customization options I've ever seen on a vehicle in GT Online. Having a translucent hood. I know it makes zero sense, but it looks really 
really cool and i believe this is the only vehicle that has that i'm not saying a clear hood i'm not saying a see-through hood this is a translucent hood and correct me if i'm wrong in the comment section down below but as i said i believe this is the only vehicle that has this as for the interior, you guys probably know, if you've seen my videos before, there is that I'm not a big fan of customizing the interior of the vehicles because I don't play in first person. But in case you are a fan of customizing it, I'm happy to say that you can customize a lot of interior things in this. And most customizations are unique to this vehicle, seats, doors and steering wheel excluded. And honestly, truth be told, my biggest problem with customizing the interior is that it's so darn expensive. Reused assets aside. Oh, and I'm noticing that we're past the halfway point of the video and you still haven't liked it. So, uh, why don't you just take a couple of seconds and go and like the video. Thank you. And now for deliveries. As you can see, because we have a translucent hood, the hood itself does not have any liveries on it. Which I kind of understand, but also it's kind of a bummer. Because it breaks up the image. But, oh well, I'm not a big fan of liveries anyway, so I'm gonna let it pass. As for the mirrors, you can put carbon mirrors on, which is always a good thing. You can change the license plate number to black, which is always a good thing. You can put a roof scoop, which is always a good thing. And you can also put on skirts. That uh, is also kind of a good thing, I, I guess. If you want to spend $14,000 for a skirt. But I guess things are getting more and more expensive in the world of GTA Online. And I can't really complain about that. Oh, wait. Yes, I can. And uh, this is the only functional customization option. And uh, in case you're really overcompensating for something, you can choose one of the chassis mounted spoilers. I'm not going to say overcompensating for what. I'm just going to give you a... Uh, oh, never mind. You can choose from several different sun strips. And uh, I couldn't help myself. And I chose Fukuru for this vehicle. And yes, that's exactly how you're supposed to pronounce it. Fukuru. And as for the suspension, you can slam the car all the way to the ground, which I think looks stupid, so we're gonna go with the middle option. You can, of course, change the wheels and the rims and the tires, but I'm kinda liking those, so I'm gonna be keeping them. And after putting a little bit of a tint on the windows, we're up to the final customization option, which is gonna be respraying the vehicle. Now, since we have a cool translucent hood, I wanted to showcase that, so we choose a matte color for this. And because I really, really wanted the engine to pop out, I uh, chose something blue. And uh, I actually like the color, so I don't care what you think. Sticks and stones, you know the rest. As for the secondary color, it's really not important, because only the brake calipers and the door handle are impacted by this. And uh, the trim color is uh, kind of a big deal, but uh, not for this vehicle. We chose red. We're not going to do accent color, so it's time to get out. And here we are, our fully customized and fully upgraded vehicle with a translucent hood, which I really can't put into words how cool that looks. And uh, all in all, I'm uh, really happy with the way the vehicle turned out, even though I was skeptical when I bought it. But enough of the customization, now let's talk about how the vehicle performs after fully upgrading it. I'm actually surprised that the vehicle performs fantastically after upgrading it. I wouldn't be surprised if this is one of the fastest vehicles in its category. Its handling is very predictable, which makes it a lot of fun to drive around with. The acceleration and top speed have both much improved, and the brakes are still fantastic. Um, maybe the one negative thing I can say about upgrading the performance of the vehicle is that the vehicle now sounds kind of generic, and I don't really like it. Other than that, I think this vehicle is absolutely worth it. I paid 1.4 million dollars for the stock version of it and I'm really happy I did so. And uh, hopefully this video helped you decide for yourself if this vehicle is for you or not. And uh, with that we're gonna be bringing the video to an end. Thank you so much to everybody that watched, hopefully you liked the video if that's the case please don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you're new to the channel and with all that said and done I'll catch you all in the next one.